This is 26-year-old model Sarah. She fell in love with Mason, a 54-year-old retired child star turned entrepreneur. I don't see myself as being in her league. You ready to go? The couple have been happily together for the last seven months. But they have faced plenty of criticism along the way. A lot of people have come out and, you know, like, really? You're with that dude? Like, why? Now it's getting serious. Will their nearest and dearest accept their love? What I hope Mason is like? I'm kind of expecting maybe like a character, you know? Hey, how are you? Oh my God. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm 26 years old. Hi, I'm Mason. By the time this airs, I'll be 54. You look very pretty. You look very adorable. Thank you. There's 28 years difference between the two of us. And, you know, the funny thing is, this is the first relationship of my life with a massive age discrepancy. The last time I dated someone 26 is probably when I was 28. The couple might not be considered a natural fit, but that hasn't held their romance back. When I first met Mason, I thought he was the most adorable person on the planet. I like older men because they're more mature. I just love the way they look. Like, I actually like gray hair and bald guys. I don't know, I just, that's what I'm attracted to. Mason and I first communicated through Facebook. So I thought he was really intelligent. I'm not gonna put myself down. I think I'm a nice guy. I think I'm a fun guy to be with. I think I have a lot to offer. But the truth of the matter is, I don't see myself as being in her league. So when she expressed interest in actually being in a relationship with me, I think I was as shocked as anybody. I think the relationship progressed so quickly because we just hit it off right away. When you first meet somebody and you end up talking effortlessly, no uncomfortable moments of real silence, that's kind of unusual. And I think that she felt that way as well. He said I love you about a week into the relationship. She said it back very quickly. There was no real pause or delay. She just said, I love you too. Back in the 70s and the 80s, I was a really famous child actor. But then the career with most young actors, you know, kind of fizzled out for a while. Uh, I owned bars and restaurants for 20 years here in New York City. Retired from that a couple of years ago, and I've kind of been living the life of leisure really ever since. I do adult modeling, webcam modeling. Hey guys, what are you up to tonight? It's not just like a sexual thing. I like to actually talk to people. I like to get to know people, ask them where they're from, and we just start talking about whatever. You got rid of the cam? Yeah. She really enjoys it. And there are times when, you know, I'll watch her do something and I'll cringe a little bit, you know, because the whole camming thing was something I was never personally into. I don't get jealous, no. I don't really understand why men feel compelled to do this. Usually when, when Sarah's camming, I'll just be watching television, quite honestly. I know that it's a show. The real Sarah is not the one that's doing all the outrageous, outlandish, uh, you know, fun things that she does. Have a good night. With Mason's background as a child star, it wasn't long before Sarah was judged for being with him for all the wrong reasons. I've gotten a few reactions when we're out. A lot of people have come out and, you know, like, really? You're with that dude? Like, why? You know, is it for the money? Okay, that really upsets me when people say that I'm with him for his money because I can date 20 guys who will give me a, an allowance, you know? So. I don't need to be with him for his money. No, oh, that's nice. That goes well with the dress, I think. <laughs> yeah. Cool. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, cool. I have been a sugar baby before. It can be like fun sometimes. Getting paid $300 to go to dinner is pretty decent, but I just, ever since I started talking to Mason, I just decided that I didn't want that anymore. I just feel like 
I'm happy to be in a relationship with him. Sarah's never asked me for a penny. Never. Today is a big day for the couple. Sarah is introducing Mason to one of her oldest friends. I use the mobility scooter because I've had a couple of accidents in my life. And I find that as I'm getting a little bit older, I'm developing a little bit of arthritic pain. So it really is a matter of convenience for us because it's fun and it saves a lot on cabs. <laughs> be careful. Yeah. This will be the first time any of Sarah's friends have met her new partner. So I'm really excited about meeting Victor. That'll be fun. Yeah, it's the first time in our relationship that I've met any of her friends. Well, hopefully he'll be here soon. Yeah. My God, Victor, what's taking you so long? Victor has traveled all the way from Boston to meet the couple. Uh, I've met some of her significant others in the past, but I'm really excited to meet this one because it uh, sounds very different. In specific ways, I guess, yeah. When's the last time you saw him? A year ago. Okay. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. I really hope that Victor likes him. Me too. Hey. Hey. How you doing, man? Good to nice meet you. To meet you. <laughs> Good to meet you, man. Mason, right? That's me. Victor. Good to meet nice you. Great to meet you. Oh my goodness. We, we had some mutual friends. Okay. And then she reached out to me on Facebook just to say hi and something like a friend request. And of you, course, I'm not going to say you no. You pursued him. This is <laughs> kind of, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I and even this. the night before that I was supposed to arrive, she sent me a PM on Facebook saying, Are you still planning on coming? But by the way, Victor, I swear to you, I, w I like it totally didn't even occur to me that this beautiful, young, you know, exotic, gorgeous creature mm -hmm. could ever fall for a guy like me. Oh, yeah. Cheers. 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 But my intention is to be the best boyfriend that she's ever had. That's really she sweet of you. That's really sweet of you. I mean, I mean, she calls me grumpy, you know, old man sometimes, and I am. You know, I mean, I'm 54, dude. It happens. You know? We've had a wonderful conversation, and it's nice to, you know, to be able to talk to somebody who has also known Sarah for basically a fourth of her life. Really thought that like it would go really well. I think that we really yeah. see eye to eye on a lot of things. Yeah. It's been really a lot of fun. So Sarah does actually act different around Mason than I've seen her with other uh, significant others. There's a different demeanor about her. She's not all... Before I could see her on the defense and stuff, and like now she's so relaxed and beautiful. Because right. we were here. <laughs> Obviously, we're lovers, but at the same time, I think that we're also good friends. Like, I think we really enjoy being around each other. I don't worry about what people think. I'm really, like, happy to be with Mason, so, you know, why wouldn't I? I'm happy to be with her. 